Hey, I'm out in the Dröbak. It's a nice city. It's a small city. Ignore the graveyard here, <laughs> but it's a cool looking city. Uh, it looks like uh, that scene from uh, Ladies or Landstrykeren. I came across this, I had this tweet a few weeks ago, maybe a couple of months, uh, where I said, uh, where I said this in shorter terms, but it but it was from a book I read called uh, After the Absolute. It's about uh, an enlightened guy called Richard Rose, a Zen master. It's probably a more correct term. Who knows what really enlightenment is? But he apparently was, according to himself. Um, and who knows whether he was, but he was a very um, intriguing character. And it's very, it's written really well. It's written by a lawyer, so a very practiced writer. Uh, he was living around this Zen teacher for 20 years. And uh, Richard Rose was a very intense guy. Um, but one of the things that stood out from the things he said in the book, in the story, is in the beginning, where people uh, show up to these uh, to this kind of spiritual uh, gathering, and then there's the Zen teacher comes out on the stage, and then people ask questions, and one of the people in the audience asked him, "Are you happy?" And he said back, "I'm free of happiness." <laughs> no, that's cool. Yeah, free of happiness. All right. Free of happiness. Imagine when you are free of even striving or desiring happiness. When you're when you're being okay with feeling okay. When you're okay with feeling okay. It's just a nice thing to think about. I'm not going to stand here and say that I'm free of happiness and that you should free yourself from happiness. But I think that's essentially what happens when you uh, pursue greater meaning, that uh, a lot of desires just fall away. You don't uh, need them anymore. You see through them. And it's not going to be a sad thing seeing them leave. It's just going to be a... It doesn't matter. Just a silent voice saying it doesn't matter and uh, what you really searched for will show up that's that's what they that's why they disappear because what you really wanted is showing up and you have that and when you have that the things you uh, thought you cared about the things you used to care about you don't think are that important anymore freeing yourself from happiness because this is a very happiness driven society that the, all the hype especially on social media I just blocked my YouTube feed there was a lot of smart videos that I could watch there in my YouTube feed but uh, I chose to even even skip that but definitely definitely that uh, Instagram uh, culture there's a there's this um, uh, glamour I see, I see glamour everywhere and that's what people uh, click like on and spread around and these uh, rich uh, Instagram uh, uh, guys and girls uh, are showing off their supposedly better lifestyle and uh, people really dream about this and and they, they get miserable because they don't have that and they think they think they need it yeah freeing yourself from happiness not only freeing yourself from desires of money or desires from of uh, fame and and I'm standing here trying to build a YouTube channel it's so hip hypocritical um, <laughs> but it, at least it's true uh, even though I don't practice this 100% at least it feels true it would be nice to free 
myself from happiness, the need for happiness. Okay, I, I said that phrase a lot. Now, I'm gonna... Uh, this is a very historical place in Norwegian history. During the Second World War, there was a giant boat here, going through here from Germany. 800 uh, or, or maybe a thousand Nazis on that boat, a huge boat. Soldiers coming in here, trying to, and their mission was to uh, invade Norway, uh, take the castle and invade the country. And there was a guy here, I wonder if it was that mountain. Uh, you, you'll see some cannons. And uh, when he saw the, the boat uh, come in here, slide in here, 4 a.m. in the morning, I think. He was thinking, hey, what's going on here? And he, uh, he fired. He didn't call the castle. <laughs> he just uh, thought that, I don't like this. And he just shot it. He shot it and the boat sank. I think it's still on the bottom. I think it's still here. A huge Nazi boat is, is on the floor. And I think 800 uh, soldiers uh, drowned. That's one of the most uh, important uh, history marks in the last uh, 100 years. Maybe the most important uh, date, April 9th. 1940. All right. Thanks for uh, joining my history class too. I'll see you in the next video. See you tomorrow where I'll give you a new tip or a, an insight or whatever. Something that is in my heart. See you guys. Viking power and all kinds of other powers. Bye. Free of happiness.